Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we arrived here in Mount Volbona and finished off the story, and then we got a bunch of minor moons here as well. This time we'll be grabbing a bunch more minor moons. Uh, you may notice that the coin count's a bit higher than it was. Uh, that's because off camera I went back to the Seaside Kingdom and got all the missing purple coins that we hadn't quite gotten. So that's covered now. Um, I believe we've got every purple coin that we've been... Yes, but we're 100% on the purple coins. So uh, we're up to luncheon now, and we're going to be getting a bunch of moons today and probably some purple coins too. Uh, you can see there's some over there. The Basically the way to get that is to bring a lava bubble, so we'll be doing that shortly. Uh, uh, since I left the kingdom to do the purple coins, I believe this kingdom will have reset itself already, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, but we have to leave to do the hint art anyway, so it doesn't really help too much. <laughs> uh, let me see here, what needs done? I have trouble capturing a lava bubble. <laughs> Gonna capture this lava bubble here, there we go. And just have a look around some of the areas we can go to. So yeah, we can swim over here. I think we did this already, but there might be more stuff here now. Uh, looks like there's nothing new. Uh, there's lots and lots of coins that you can get. If you wanted to go coinless, you might have some trouble. <laughs> uh, so to get over there, you, I don't think you can make a jump that far because if you land on the rocks, the love bubble will die and you'll go back to being Mario. Uh, but if you swim out here, into the main lava area, you can... I have some purples here. Uh, there's also a cannon over here somewhere, which you can use to get over to the other side. Uh, there it is. Uh, there's also a couple more purples we'll be getting. So we're going to hit this cannon here. And then we're probably going to do that sub-area over there. You can see the hat door. So yeah, we're going to head over there once we've done this. There we go. So yeah, that's how you get these three. You could probably just throw Cappy over there, or just like damage boost your way over there to get them, but... You know, whatever. We'll do it this way. Oh, actually, you could just go around the back. Okay. <laughs> this cannon is not necessary, it turns out. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't realise you could go all the way around there. But you can. There's another little passage here that you can use, which leads to this part, uh, where that door is. We already did that sub-area though, so nothing too interesting there. Uh, we're gonna head over and do this sub-area now, like I said. Uh, there's, already, there's a moon there, but we already got it, so that's fine. Uh, the love bubbles go up through this grating, so you have to be careful not to fall through accidentally. It's kind of kind of like squid mode in Splatoon. Um, I kind of feel that between the Gushins, which are actually, you know, squids, and the Love Bubbles, which work like squid mode in Splatoon, there's a lot of Splatoon stuff in this game. <laughs> uh, alright, I remember this. Okay, so, basically this is based around capturing stuff and flinging yourself up with it. Mostly forks. So what you've got are a bunch of these little cap launchers on the walls which will launch Cappy towards different forks and get you captured around in different places. Uh, there are two moons to be had here. It's not too tricky. Uh, the launchers aren't in very annoying places compared to some that we've seen in previous areas. And when we're in mid-air, it's easy to throw Cappy, so we won't have any trouble with that. Oh gosh! Uh, yeah, if you fall, you fall, so you gotta be a bit careful. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. So yeah, there's a moon there, but you can also see there's another ledge over there. So you wanna fling yourself over there. Get this fork to grab the moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! First moon of the video. 
You can flip yourself back over towards those folks. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, the um hitbox the forks have for capturing is very generous, so it's not hard, basically. As usual, going up there, which is kind of slightly difficult, sort of, gives you a bunch of invisible coins. Uh, most places that are just a little bit out of the way are like that in this game. Uh, so to get back out of here, you're supposed to just capture one of these lava bubbles. Um, you could also just checkpoint warp. I'm gonna see if I can climb up this way. Uh, I get the feeling, based on the shape of the platform above there, that it won't let you get on top, but we'll see how we go. Oops. That's not good. Yeah, alright, let's, let's capture a lava bubble. So yeah, with the, with the bubble, you can... You jump fairly high, but not that high, so you need little, 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 um, slopes like here in order to gain enough height, essentially. Uh... Grab all these. Then we're gonna hit this cannon over here. There were some purple coins on the other side here that I wanted to get in the last video, and didn't. So we'll, get, we'll be getting those now. Uh, I accidentally uncaptured in the previous video, I believe. Uh, so yeah, purple coins all around here. Uh, and then we're gonna go over to this note here. As usual, you just have to follow a certain path to collect all the notes. Uh, because it's in a capture, it's unaffected, so this is just a normal game. Uh, you can use the shake to go a bit faster, but you don't really need to. It's easy enough. Uh, this island may be familiar, we were here in the first video of this area. But up by yeah! Uh, way back when we first visited Mount Valbona, we did the 2D section here. You can see the pipe there, we had to go down there. And we actually got to do a 2D section for the first time, because I didn't know you could get into the ones with vertical pipes. Um, there's another move we can do here. Um, basically what we have to do is pound all of these cracks on the island, and we will get a move. Uh, the fork over there is supposed to be doing it, but they get, lo like, blonked by the vegetables when they try, apparently. So we're going to do it for them. Because Mario is a lot more athletic than a fork. I guess. Uh, let me see. Uh, there we go. And the fork gives you a moon when you've done it. Uh, there's one more moon we can get from this island. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, yeah! So we'll be getting that as well. Um, however, as I mentioned the first time we were here, it is a bit of a spoiler. Basically, there's one of the paintings in the game, a secret path, on the bottom side of this platform, and it leads to a post-game area. So, if you don't want to know about the post-game areas, I would recommend stopping this video now and playing the game and learning what they are the normal way. Um, because we're about to go to one of them. Um, you can do this before the post-game's actually started, it's a bit of a sneak peek. But if you don't want a sneak peek, then yeah, don't, don't, don't be here. <laughs> uh, everyone who's still here, we're heading through the painting now. Uh, basically, it goes to Beach's Castle. So yeah, you can see this as soon as you get to the Luncheon Kingdom. You don't have to play the post game. So it's basically a little bit of foreshadowing about the fact that you will get to go here later in the game. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, I probably shouldn't have skipped the cutscene, it's taking a bit long. Um, yeah, so over here, this little island is where Yoshi's house supposedly is. It looks kind of like Yoshi's house from, um, Super Mario World, although not quite the same. I don't know, it's got the chimney thing, a couple of trees, and the checkpoint. Um, it is impossible to go from here to over there. Uh, if you start over there, there's a glitch that can be done on 1.0 to climb back up here, and then you can get back. Um, with a really tricky jump, but it is impossible to start up here because an invisible wall spawns when you arrive over here. Um, which is a bit sad. There goes my rubber band. <laughs> uh, anyway, there's one moon we can get over here, which we will be getting momentarily. Uh, there is a speed run that you can do in the 1.0 version of the game called Star Percent, which basically means playing the game until you reach uh, the Luncheon Kingdom secret path. And then from there, using the Bruncheon skip to get to Luncheon Kingdom, 
then go to this painting and get this star, and that's where the speed run ends. Also, yeah, it plays that noise instead when you get moons in this kingdom. It's so beautiful. Power moons come in other shapes. They sure do. Oh, this game is charming. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll be coming back to do most of this kingdom later on because um, it's later in the in the run. But I mean, it's 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 a post game kingdom. You're not really supposed to access it until the post game. But we can do that part right now because we're in Mount Valbono. Anyway, uh, we'll just head back and do some Valbonian moons now. Uh, the moon we just got, Star Moon, the the one from from Peach's Castle, will be cashed in with the others, like the other secret paths. Uh, it doesn't like cash in immediately or just or you know stick around until we actually go to the Odyssey on that kingdom that cashes in over here instead. Uh, although if if we got it before the post game, it would actually stay. Uh, uncollected, like it would, it wouldn't show up in our list of moons over there. A list of um uncashed moons, and it wouldn't get cashed in until we got to the post game. Um, basically, at that part in the game, you need moons from the correct area, or they don't count. Uh, this area, this um, capless sub area, I tried to do earlier, and I'm a little worried about it, so I might leave it for a bit later. Um, as you may remember, I tried to do it in the first video of uh, this area, and had some problems. <laughs> it's weird that that one door is much harder to enter than all the other doors. The the one in um when you're climbing up the mountain and you have to get the story moon to make the path to where the door is. That one, I have to actually slide down the wall to get to that one while crouching. But the other ones you can just walk into. I don't know why it's so different. Maybe because it gets unlocked as part of the story. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, maybe they wanted to make sure you couldn't just jump over and get into it that way. So they like tweaked it a bit. Whereas the other doors, it doesn't matter too much. Anyway, that one's really easy. You just gotta. This rubber band is a problem. Let me just try to fix it up. Hang on. Push it down. Controller. Stretch, stretch. Okay, I think that's better. It's like not all twisted up or anything, so it should should be a bit more reliable. I think. Uh, up here we've got some purple coins that we already got. I think just here might be something too. Oh, just coins. That's gonna be that. There we go. Uh, we head over this way. There's some more purple coins to be had. There's a couple above these tomatoes here. Uh, what you're supposed to do is use a lava bubble, basically. Uh, so you have to make lava for the tomatoes to from the tomatoes to so that the lava bubble can jump up. But you can just sort of do that, and it's fine. But you are intended to use these tomatoes, tomatoes to do it. I don't know. You don't have to, though, so, you know. There we go, 75. Now if we come over here, near this uh, fire bro, there'll be a few more tomatoes to get below this fork. Oops. Oh my goodness. And then there's this sub room over here. I forget what's in this one, so we'll see how we go. Um, oh, it's this one. Okay, this is capture based, so it probably won't be too different from normal. Uh, it can be done without using a lava bubble, but it's ridiculously hard. You basically have to damage boost the entire thing. Uh, I don't know if it can be done without access to an amiibo to heal yourself. Uh, it might be possible, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the normal run is pretty simple, basically. You just want to... Bump these tomatoes. Tomatoes, there we go. So that you have some, a platform there that will help you... Cross to the other side of this lava. Like that, and then you can just climb up here. To get that moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, yeah! Easy peasy. Uh, I really don't like the timing for these. <laughs> there we go. Uh, then there's this sort of narrow platformy thing. It's not too tricky. The lava bubble controls are very good. Um, I'm not pressing the Y button to dash. I'm just going at normal speed right now for a little more precision. 
it wouldn't be too hard to do it while dashing, I think, if you wanted to be going real fast, for whatever reason. Oops. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, I don't know if this one is actually doable without um, capturing a love bubble. Like, it looks like it's just too far to do with damage boosting. Especially when you suck at it like I do. <laughs> Mario, please. There we go. Okay. Let's try this again. It's honestly, it's not, it's not difficult. I don't know why I'm having all this trouble. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Uh, I got those three purples already, so that's good. Uh, you can go through the middle here. It's a little more dangerous, but it's a lot faster than going around the weaving part. So. That's kind of a handy trick, I suppose. There we go. Easy. Easy peasy. Uh, there's actually a second area that's kind of similar to this. Another sub area. I think that's the one you can do without any captures. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, it might be this one though. I'm not sure. It might even be both of them. I don't know. Um, but in any case, you'd probably have to do a lot of damage boosting. Down the pipe. There we go. Alright, so we're making some good progress here. Uh, there are a lot of moons here. This is a big kingdom. Uh, but we're going okay so far. So we're all good. Uh, over here, these cheese rocks are concealing a treasure of sorts that we're going to need. So we're going to make our way over. Oh, right. You need, you need a pan bro to break that open, actually. Yeah, this is kind, kind of a tricky mini challenge here where you have to... Go all the way over to where the- whoa, there's invisible blocks there, really? Why? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um, you come over back to these Pambros, so you can capture one, knock off the hats, there we go. And then you have to make your way through this sort of little obstacle course, because the Pambro can't platform quite as well as Mario normally can. It's not too hard, it's pretty easy, really. And you can take out a lot of stuff from a distance because these pans are a ranged attack, which is handy. Uh, there we go. So you just break these cheese rocks and underneath you'll find the third and final golden turnip. If I can get it out of the ground, that'd be great. I'm gonna move from over here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, homing, homing cap throw was, was the save. Okay, so all you gotta do, you gotta carry this turnip back to the same pot the other two turnips went in. Uh, this, since this one is the farthest away, it's probably the most difficult, but it's not actually that hard, so... Now that I've said that, I'm going to mess it up, though, of course. Um, you just make your way back to where we got the pan bro, basically. Hopefully without doing that. Oh my goodness. <sighs> you can do, like, triple jumps and stuff to make to make your way over there more easily. Maybe we should. Um, actually, hang on. When I get a pan bro, there's another thing I want to do using one. So I might do that first. Oh, um, now I'm a lava bubble. <laughs> okay, here's the Pambro. Uh, the other place you can use them to get some moons is this way. Actually, there's a few more places you can get moons with them, so we'll be doing all of them, uh, probably in this video. Uh, behind this cheese here, if you break this cheese and grab his purple coins if you want, you can see there's another one of these sub-area doors. Uh, and this one is based around using another Pambro, basically. Uh, there's cheese rocks everywhere. You gotta get the Pambro and use the Pambro to break these cheese rocks so you can actually get the moons. There are two moons in here and we shouldn't have too much trouble getting both of them. 
Uh, if you break some of the cheese rocks, you can see it breaks out into lava underneath, so you do want to be careful what you break. Uh, it's not very dangerous, though. Like, I mean, it's lava, which is a little bit dangerous, but it's not that hard. Uh, pretty much even if you break all of it, there's some unbreakable platforms underneath, so you don't make anything impossible no matter how much stuff you break. The others might be on this side. So yeah, there's five moon shards. I've got four of them. Uh, that's the last one. I think it's over here. Yeah, there's actually a lower platform there. You can't really see it until you've started breaking the cheese around it. But yeah, as you can see, moon shard. So yeah, that's the five moon shards. Very easy. Very easy. Um... Once you've done that, there we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, yeah! There's a slightly harder moon to get, which is up there. You can actually see it right there. Uh, so basically what we want to do is platform our way up here. This part, if you break too many of the cheese rocks, you actually do have trouble getting up there. Yeah! But if you don't, you're fine. Uh, okay, so ten moons, making good progress. Uh, one of them was actually from, from a different kingdom, so it doesn't count towards this kingdom's moons, but, you know, making good progress. Okay, so that's that sub-area done. That was pretty easy. Uh, there's one more place we can break break some cheese rocks and actually get another moon. Uh, but first, I want to try to do this one this one here uh, with the turner. So, what we want to do, get a pambro. Don't hurt yourself by accident. Preferably. The Pambros are a little hard to, to hit uh, because of our movement issues and throwing gappy issues and all that. But it's doable. Um, there we go. So I'm just going to clean up the area a little bit before we start. Uh, just so that this next part isn't, too, isn't is a little easier. Uh, basically, to get back to the pot, you have to go up here. So if I break some of these first, there will be, it'll be easier to get up there without having to do some weird stunts. Uh, that's my thinking anyway. We'll see how we go. Oh, also, there's another purple coin in there that I missed. Cool. Um, there we go. So, yeah, basically, you want that staircase to be available so you can use it later. Okay, there we go. Just get the turn up again. Uh, I probably want to do a homing circle over here. Probably the easiest way. There we go. Okay, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Uh, you can't capture anything while holding the turn up, and you can't throw a cappy or bounce off her while holding the turn up, so it's a bit tricky. Uh, it's not super tricky, but a little tricky. Also, the triple jump looks hilarious with the giant turn up. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, since we did those stairs earlier, this will be easy. Just climb up here, uh, then you can just drop down. Uh, the, uh, festival is now on, as you can see, there's a bunch of other people here, and also some food and stuff, that's because I reset the kingdom by going back for those purple coins earlier. Anyway, there's a moon. Uh, and we're gonna need to get a another pound bro in a second. ba da ba da ba da ba yeah! So what we're going to do is just climb up here, see if we can do it, I'll, I'll see if we can do it in this, from this direction. Uh, it might be possible, I might have to go around the other way. It's a little slower because of the way you have to capture a pound bro, to, not pound bro, the other thing. A love bubble. Oh yeah, that'll work, cool. That was actually really easy. Okay, so we want to get another pound bro, and basically take them past the plaza towards where the Odyssey is. Uh,
That's pretty easy, but it, it does involve scaring everyone in the plaza. So if, you, if you're doing like a no scaring random people run, you'll have a problem. <laughs> I already got that bunny, oh, I'm gonna just ignore it. So yeah, this is the reason this area is designed to be traversable without any special stunts, because you need to be able to get a pound bro through it, and they can't do interesting kinds of jumps. Uh... Because yeah, the only bro that spawns right here at the beginning is a fire bro, which will not help us in this situation. You get the Pambo right at the beginning here, you break these cheese rocks. And underneath the cheese rocks you can see a sparkle, which of course means if you ground pound in the right spot, you got a prize. Ba da ba da ba da ba yeah! <laughs> Okie doke, uh... Sorry man, uh... Bro friends... I mean they're called bros, I guess, I guess they're men's. Or, you know, maybe it's just a narrow-minded assumption. Uh, let me see now. What else needs done? Uh, I don't think we've bought a moon here yet, so that needs doing. Uh, yeah, it does need doing. There's some, And then some more stuff to do, of course. So, let's see here. See what we can... Whoop. Uh, we haven't spoken to Captain Toad yet either, that needs doing too. I'm not really sure what these forks are here for, because you can easily jump to the other side without using them. Uh, I mean, they're kind of cool to have, I guess. That's interesting. You can see those Goomba's shadows are going through the rooftop there. Uh, that's an interesting quirk. Oh hey! Oh hey, it's Jam and Toad. Hey Jam and Toad! <laughs> uh, I've become a monster. I believe a couple of different songs will work here. Um, basically, you need it's you need capturing based music. Uh, I think there's a couple you can use, but I'm not sure which. I mean, I I know exactly what one of them you can use is, but I'm wondering what the others might be. Um, I'm just gonna choose the obvious one. The music from the last part of the ending sequence. Ba da ba ba da 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 Oh my gosh. There we go. Might just leave this on for a little while because it's great music. Uh, I guess that's done. Now we can go to the shop also. Uh, I think we need to buy an outfit actually. Uh, you can see that this robot up here is panicking. Uh, I believe they want to see a mechanic, so we have to get the mechanic outfit in order to pretend to be a mechanic. Yes. It's interesting that a big, a big feature of this game is impersonating various professionals that you actually aren't in order to get moons. Yeah, I'm going to switch this one off now. Boop. So, the mechanic outfit, you buy it over here, I believe. Uh, there it is. It's not very expensive, fortunately, so we can just pick it up without any trouble. Uh, while we're here, we'll buy a moon as well, since we need one. No, not that. That. Thanks, pal. Ba -ba -da -ba, yeah! Cappy is backwards in this outfit, it's kind of cute. Anyway, so when we're wearing this mechanic outfit, we can go up... ...to that, uh, robot we were talking to a moment ago. Oh, we also have to light that flame, but we'll do that shortly. So yeah, we just talked to this fellow, who is spinning around. Because we've got just a mechanic, 
the robot will feel fine instantly without us doing anything. Ba -da -ba -da -ba, yeah. I don't know why looking at a mechanic is enough to kill this robot, but you know, whatever. Okay, we've done 14 moons. I think we'll look for one more we can do. Uh, and then... And then we'll save the others for the next video. Uh, since we're getting kind of close to having done all of them. Stupendous. Cute. Um, as usual, there's a hat and seek moon to do here somewhere. I forget exactly where. I think maybe behind here? Oops. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't need that moon. Just, okay. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, here we go. Uh, you can see that this, uh, Volbonin has a friend. <laughs> oh, Drat. Uh, I guess this is Audrey Hepburn, because they're saying, really, top draw. <laughs> but up, uh, yeah! Okay, that's it for this video, I reckon. Uh, I'm gonna go cash these in. And in the next video, we will be finishing off the A side of this kingdom. Um, so that's exciting. There's a couple of really hard things we have to do, including that capless sub-area I mentioned. So, I'm a little worried. Uh, we'll see how we go. But for now, we're just going to cash in the 15 moons we got in this kingdom, plus the one that we got in the other kingdom. And in the next video, we'll be finishing off the A-side. Bam! 607 moons. That's pretty good progress. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day, and Woomy! Also, Vimo, because Vimo was in the previous kingdom. Vimo! <laughs>